Good morning, Get Wrecked for Recovery crew. So it's day 83 of the Redeeming Eden Cycle Tour. R-E-C-T, Get Wrecked for Recovery. A 48 state, four year ride for addiction recovery awareness. Each day we pedal for someone who's passed away from addiction and the whole end goal is to build a rehab. And this is state number 39, Nebraska, on the ride to Ragbri 2022. A 4,500 mile loop around the Midwest, Ohio to Erie Trail, Michigan's Upper Peninsula, Glacier National Park, Yellowstone National Park, the Cowboy Trail, and Easter Ragbri the last week of July. This month, five days. And it's all to raise awareness that addiction recovery options are available, that you don't have to die in your addiction. There's churches, celebrate recoveries and rescue missions all over the nation, all over the world that just wanna help you, talk to you, and love you if you find yourself battling addiction. So yeah, we're here at the uh, Riverside Park in Neely, which I found out last night is how it's pronounced. Uh, and we're gonna do something a little different today. So Liam is actually gonna cut out this morning with Forrest while I get my shower and go to Oakdale. This is Forrest you've been hearing about on the channel. Howdy. Forrest, tell them about yourself. Tell them what you're doing. Uh, I'm out seeing the country. I'm having an amazing time riding from San Francisco to New York City, mostly on back roads. Uh, and meeting amazing people like Adam and Liam and hearing all the amazing stories that are already here in the world. It's so great to be out. Awesome. And you have you got an Instagram or a Strava or anything you want anybody to follow? Uh, yeah. Well, my name is Forrest Charles. Forrest has two R's, so you can find me on Facebook or Strava that way. And my Instagram is Forrest, but with the number four and then I-S-T and then the underscore symbol. <laughs> Awesome, awesome. Well, uh, guys, if y'all want to follow along in Forrest's journey, he'll be going much longer after we're done uh, with Ragbri, but he's going to do Ragbri, and then he's headed all the way to New York, right? Yeah. Very cool, very cool. Well, it's been an absolute pleasure meeting you and hanging out and the few times that we've been able to, and I hope that this morning ride with y'all is going to be so yeah. awesome. Likewise. Liam's just been so excited to ride with you, so very cool. I I even took, I did, he, he was going to do um, devotions to take the highway because we, uh, he, we would have to split trails and just go around the cowboy trail. Uh, he, he, wanted to, <coughs> he wanted to stay on the cowboy trail, so um, I decided to go with him. Yeah, uh, he wants to stay on the cowboy trail. I don't necessarily want to. My bike's too heavy and I'm almost 40 years old. Uh, so... Yeah, they're going to do the Cowboy Trail together, and I'm going to take the highways. But either way, you guys will see more of that. Well, the shower is done, and just like that, they're gone. I'm going to try to beat them to town, see if I can do it. It'll be kind of nice. I'll be able to put my AirPods in and just listen to music. and uh, Yeah, push one real hard for the day. I haven't had the opportunity to do that for a little bit. Liam does very well. He's super fast, but... Um, I can still go faster. Uh, it is what it is. <laughs> anyway, um, another thing I didn't tell him about, there's a water park in Norfolk. Uh, and so that is where I'm taking him to. That's why we're up so early, moving, getting on the road, going fast. Uh, yeah, that'll be a good, cool end of the day today. So yeah, now I'm gonna try and get there and you'll see more of that right about now. So we just got here. Uh, I just got here. We ate uh, to Mr. S's Gas and Groceries. 
Uh, and it was pretty neat. When I was coming down the road, I passed two separate cyclists. The first guy, was his name was Caleb, and he's riding to Lander, Wyoming. Uh, Gannett Peak Outdoors Bike Shop. Been there. Love that place. Go get some free ice cream. And then uh, passed another guy named Doug, and so he did like a little Instagram reel with me there on the side of the road. And both of them, both of them asked me, how old is your son? And I was like nine. And they were like, that's incredible. Uh, so yeah, it was really neat. It was neat to have like, uh, in being separate from Liam, having like God send people to let me know that they were we just right up the way. Did you? We didn't talk to Doug. She gave me a crazy look like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. Um, Another thing that they were telling me is the cowboy trail is actually out. So what they were going to do is take the cowboy trail around to here, and I was going to take the highway, and they said it's closed off. I guess the Elkhorn was swollen there and took out a bridge there too. So um, we're all going to ride together uh, down here to Norfolk, um, and then, we'll get, in the pool and then we'll, we'll, get, we'll get in the pool together and hang out there, and then there's a place called Tahazuka Park that's got some good it's cheap camping. Elkhorn. And uh, yeah, it's a native. Is it native language thing? It means Elkhorn, yeah. And it means Elkhorn in their native language, Tahazuka. So, very Go cool. To the Tahazuka. Very cool. But yeah, we're gonna um, we're gonna keep on heading that way, and uh, Forrest is gonna stay with us, and you'll see more of that. So we just roll in here to the JB Mart. Uh, when we got into Tilden here, we turned and tried to see if we could find like a restaurant or something that we could go to, and there wasn't anything. Uh, so we ended up rolling down to the other end of town and then back up to here. Uh, went inside, got some hamburgers, some burritos, some breakfast burritos, filled up our water bottles, had some Cokes, had some ice cream. And now we're gonna make the rest of the push. It's 22 miles from here uh, to uh, Norfolk and yeah uh, really cool seeing that prop duster earlier uh, that was a surprise and I'm glad that Liam got to see that that was a lot of fun so we're gonna keep on moving down the road with old Forrest here not old Forrest I'm the old one you're the old one now <laughs> so yeah we'll keep on heading down the road and with the oldest one here no this is the oldest one yeah, yeah. Thanks. Thanks, we bud. We call him 500 billion year old dinosaur. He calls me a 500 billion year old dinosaur. I feel like it sometimes, too. <laughs> so, yeah, we're going to keep on rolling down the road, and you'll see more of that. Uh, ne next right time, a little bit later. Right about now. <laughs> right about now. <laughs> right about now. <laughs> Oh, you know that's cold too. 
I don't know what it is about those Iowa pump handles. Yeah. But they just... It's, there's, there's like a symbol of hospitality and life. Yep, me too. <laughs> just amazing like I think that's lavender I really don't know what it is but it's just so potent with just fragrant smell goody kind of smells and it's so hot like I'm just dripping in sweat uh, anyway it smells absolutely amazing Let me catch up with it. So we just finished up here at Pizza Hut. That's Wing Street. It's Pizza Hut, just believe me. Uh, and we are headed to the water park now. Uh, Forrest left to go to the store. He had to get avocados and carrots and all kinds of stuff. Uh, and we're going to meet him there at some point in the future. Liam said 4 o'clock and he was like, that sounds awful ambitious because that was like 30 minutes later and we had just got our food. Uh, so it's probably gonna be closer to 4:30. Park closes at 7:30, and then we still got to get over and set up camp. So yeah, we're gonna get over here to this water park, and you'll see more of that. We made it to the water park, don't want to get a copyright strike, but yeah, we're going to go uh, check out some giant slides, wave pools, high dive, diving board over here, fun stuff. We're, we're about to go hit it hard. You ready, buddy? Oh, yeah. Let's do it. adventure and we had an absolute blast we did slides we did dives we did flips we did all kinds of fun stuff now we're headed to Tahazuka and uh, yeah it's what 15 minutes away yeah. about 15 minutes left on today we'll set up camp 
and I can get cutting and editing this video so you guys can see it hopefully tonight or in the morning. Uh, but yeah, can't get it all done if we stay here. So we're getting on the road. And you'll see that. All right, so we were we were just recording that section, and all these ladies came out like we're like, can we be in your video? And they wanted to give a cheer. Go for it. Cheer right for recovery. Awesome. All right, so we made it here to Tahazuka, I think is how it's pronounced. Tahazuka, right? Yes. Tahazuka, Elkhorn. Uh, great time there at the pool. One other thing that I had noticed is Liam and I had to get new bathing suits. Liam lost his and mine tore, like the pocket uh, when we were diving. So we went to Dollar General and the only bathing suits that they had were these, right? And so I got Liam his and it's an 810 and mine is a 1618 and we're in a junior size bathing suit that's what bike touring can do for you 40 years old and I can still fit into stuff I wore in high school it's pretty amazing uh, but I totally forgot to turn the Garmin back on between uh, there and the park so like we're missing about two and a half miles maybe of our ride down uh, on Garmin today so it was right at 40 but all in all, it was a fabulous day. Uh, we got to walk over to the bathroom, change, do all our stuff. And then there's a Cinex across the street, it looks like, that we're going to walk over to and get our Coca-Colas and that kind of stuff so that we can start ending the day, uh, get a little bit of, get some kind of snack or something. Um, but yeah, like, incredible day today. Had a great time with Forrest. Uh, hanging out, bike touring. I think some of the best days on bike tour are always when you have like that random other bike tourist that's with you. I've had so many now, so many friends, like lifelong friends uh, that I've met and hung out with. Uh, it's just neat how a bicycle, how two wheels and a long trip can bring people together. Uh, it's really cool, really cool. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and end the video here so I can start working on this and get it cut, edited, and uploaded so you guys can see it. And then, uh, yeah, do the things and actually start doing that. So, uh, yeah. Stay cool. He said stay cool. Nice, nice. So, yeah, if you know anybody who's passed away from addiction in any form or fashion, please drop their name in the comments or find us through the pop -a link in the description. And we would love to ride for your person and celebrate their life with you for a day. If you know anybody who's actively addicted, Anybody in general, please share this with them. Thank you so much, Get Wrecked for Recovery crew. Every one of you that is liking every video, commenting on every video, sharing every video, and those of you that are subscribed to the YouTube channel. The analytics love it. We do too. And who knows, it might save a life. Don't forget, Redeeming Eden is a nonprofit ministry through International Gospel Outreach. That link is also in the Popple link, and you can go there and find out more about Redeeming Eden and about the Cody Jordan Forever Funeral Fund, which is a fund I started to help families that lose loved ones to addiction with paying funeral costs. Uh, yeah, so really good day, uh, good ride, hot ride, but the water park really made up for it. It was $8 for an adult, $6 for a kid, and it was a pretty big water park. I mean, wave pool, giant slides, uh, high dive, diving boards, like kids areas, it was, it was really neat. For that kind of price, well worth it. I love the small town America, but like this 24,000 population 
bigger town of Norfolk. Uh, it's cool that they got a water park for that cheap. But yeah, uh, from here at the Tahazuka campground, by the way, we split the campsite, $12. There's a tent camping area that's five bucks. We split the, um, the campsite and then Liam was like, I'll pay for it. So Liam paid out of his cash um, and the power doesn't work. So our electrical box, after we got everything set up, I'm having to use the old battery power anyway. Uh, we would have just paid five dollars. like. But it is what it is, and it ain't what it ain't. And that's how we're going to end the video today. As usual, we love you guys. Jesus loves you. We'll see you later. Have a good night.